you've ever been to the Balkans, you've most likely seen places like this. I do respect, like, how popular this meme is, and he couldn't include the swearing. Because just instantly ad stolen, like money stolen immediately. Like this. Oh my god, that looks like Birmingham. That looks like... Why is there gambling everywhere? Uh, it's it's like what you see at those dodgy pizzas that are open at like 3 in the morning as well. You know the stock images that are like faded? Big win. Betting houses. A monk's diet of meat, raw onions, and accustomed to start a war every couple of years that results in the deaths of uh, tens of millions, betting houses are yet another staple of Balkan culture, which can be virtually found in almost every country in the region. If you drive through any major city such as Bucharest or Belgrade, you will see colorful billboards advertising companies such as Balkan Bat and Mozart. And oh my god. She got the, she got the, bo the booby out. Wow. Physical locations won't be too far from you. We're saying June 11th incident. You at any point in time. In Romania alone in 2015. Yeah, this is what I mean. Look how faded that is. Damn. And profits from gambling were estimated to be 266 million euros, which was almost double that of the previous year, which estimated the earnings to be at around. I remember there was a woman that gave herself a payout. Hang on. She gave her a payout. Oh yeah, Denise. Oh yeah, Denise Coates, the CEO of gambling company Bet365, was paid £270 million in a year. She's the highest paid CEO in the country, and it's from gambling. Managing director of Bet365. Why is she getting like a royal medal? Yeah, I've drove people to like ruin their lives and uh, commit suicide en masse. Uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I'm so happy that I think I've only the Discord. I just oh, whatever. So it's it's not like it's not like I even care at this point. I'll be honest. Yeah, I was commissioning art. Um, but yeah, I I had a what was I even saying? I lost. I lost. Like, like everyone's talking about the alt tab. I, I can't even focus anymore. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I've never like online gambled in my life. I've only done it twice. Uh, and I think it was like the Logan Paul KSI fight and then the Logan Paul fight. I think it was the rematch. That's it. Because I swear gambling, like betting online is just such a slippery slope. It's such a slippery slope. <clears throat> Interesting commission. It's, uh... it's a new character I got. 144 million euros as a whole today the industry in the country alone is estimated to be worth between 10 to 12 billion euros meanwhile in the neighboring serbia projected revenue from online gambling alone is estimated to reach 130 why is gambling allowed to be advertised though gambling. actual like we actually have balkan soy face before gta 6 that's crazy gambling alone is but yeah it's like i i always find it so evil that they're allowed to advertise gambling like, I, I think, like, uh, I noticed on the TV, like, they'll always advertise, like, alcohol and stuff, and they'll always have, like, drink aware, and then with gambling, it's, like, better aware. But it's, like, I feel with gambling, it's, like, imagine if you're, like, trying to quit and stuff, right? Like, you actually have a problem, and then you see, like, an advert for betting. And one thing I noticed about the betting, the betting, the gambling advertisements in the UK, they show anything except the actual bet. They'll show people riding their bikes, eating like food in the park, and it's like, you don't show anything related to the gambling. You just make it out that people can win like free money. Be gamble aware. Yeah, but no one checks that. I hate YouTubers who do gambling sponsors. I got approached by a YouTube sponsor once. Like, you know, when, like Fitz and Swagger, like when they were like peak in the CSGO days, like when they were huge. I think Fitz is getting like 10 mil a video. There was a bunch of like gambling sponsors and one of them reached out to me and I think they offered like a quarter mil or something. But then I was like, nah, I'm gonna have that follow me forever. I'm good. Is estimated to reach 130 million euros this year. So what is going on? Why is gambling so big here? And what are the consequences of it on Balkan society? The situation we find- Well, I know if the majority of your economy comes from uh, gambling, your economy is, it's done, bro. It's actually finito. Ourselves in started all the way back. How concerned are you about AI? Do you feel an impending avalanche that will destroy all your hopes and dreams? 
Um, no. I don't know. I mean, AI, the only thing I don't like about AI is like, I, I talked about this on the podcast. It's like AI yoinks jobs from people, like graphic designers, like artists. I could, I could use AI to get like any art I want, right? Like any commission. But I like, it, it, it's not the same. I, I said this before like a couple streams ago. It's like, I'll always commission art and never use AI because it's like, it's like my little NFT, right? Like it's mine, like, like it's unique. When I was 13, my friend beat me over the head with a binder because I said he looks like you. Based. Back in the 90s. Prior to this point, most of the Balkans were under, By da Shut up. under the grasp of communism, under this economic system. I like the Papers, Please music. The majority of the population were significantly less wealthy. GDP per capita. Uh, wow, is the UK not top? Oh no, our economy's been like ass for a while, to be fair. Damn, Sweden mocking us. France mocking us. Look at that, though. What? What the hell? Then their Western European counterparts, and the standard of living was even lower. I know, shocking. Communism didn't work. Who'd have thunk? Nevertheless, as socialism collapsed, <laughs> the Balkans started to transition into a free market economy. However, if you happen to live here during this time period, you're well aware that this transition wasn't the smoothest. Many of the government institutions collapsed. The law became more... Dude, I need to steal that bit. The Roblox house exploding. I actually need to steal that and put it in a video. A ...suggestion rather than a command. Poverty rose even higher. And if you happen to live in the Western Balkans... Dude, I'm not... Look, Leon, I'm not joking. I'm not joking you right now. I just said I turned down a gambling sponsor. And I've literally right now on Discord had someone DM me about a gambling sponsor. Right now. Wow. That, that is... The timing there is crazy. With anarchy taking over and there being a severe lack of regulation, many Western gambling operators saw this as a new opportunity. As such, over the next decade, casinos, sports, and electronic betting houses start to spring up rapidly. throughout the region. According to the Romanian National Gaming Office, there are over 12,000 registered gambling venues in the country. Meanwhile, in Serbia, there are around 2,400. And in Bosnia, there are well Watch over 9.5. with Monster on YouTube. It's very good. Thousand gambling what? shops all over the country. He just accepted the sponsor? No, I want to see how much they pay out. They said it's, they said it's a fake gambling app with in-app purchases. So I, I want to hear them out. I'm not going to say yes or no to that. I just want to hear how much. Because if, if they can cover the Utopia, uh, if they can cover the Darkwood sponsor, because we can't get a sponsor that covers it at the minute. Because I'll be honest, like, I, I, need a, I need a sponsor that's over like 100 grand to cover like editors and the animation team. So if it's something like that, I guess like Necessary Evil, I don't know. No, 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 not Utopia. I got called a fairy for watching your Utopia video in work. Reasonable, reasonable response. Which is especially concerning considering Romania has almost six times the population of the country. And even there, the number of gambling venues is high. Today, gambling in the Balkans is one of the biggest elephants in the room as it has become an overwhelming problem impacting society as a whole. Yet very little is talked about it. In Romania, it is estimated that around 12% of the population gamble annually, which... That's, that's, that's cap. There's definitely way more. There's definitely way more. That's like footballers admitting they take snus. It's, it's way more than the number that they're admitting. Makes around 2.4 million people. From 2015's data, it was calculated that out of those, there are over 100,000 people in Romania who have a serious gambling problem. However, no studies have been conducted in Romania since that year. So the number of problematic gamblers is very likely to be even greater. In Serbia, these figures are much higher. It was reported that around 31.4% of the population gambled in the last I, year. I think it's well, more. I genuinely think it's more. It's it, like, if it's, look at that. Look how many ads there are for gambling outside. percent gambled in the last month. It is also- I, I've been to casinos before and they are seedy. They are evil. Like there's one place called Crown Casino that Chad took me to, anything for views. And Chad has a, uh, Chad's got a black card there that you get for like spending an insane amount of money there. And he got us into like this private lounge. Uh, and yeah, it's just like, 
it like the, the majority of the casino there is like like casinos are so dirty yeah it's like they've got like they'll have no clocks no windows so you lose track of time and then they purposely put a really ugly looking carpet on the floor so they do that as a psychology technique so you're not looking at the floor you're looking up and when you're looking up you're looking at all the machines show us the art you commissioned no uh i'll probably set up like a toy house account or something i need i need to do that like put all the characters on there estimated that there are over 50,000 people with a gambling problem in Bosnia and that the average Bosnian loses one month's salary which would be around 667 euros. The crown is C. Diaz. Yeah. Yeah, it's really sad seeing people gambling at like 9 in the morning. It's like there's something wrong, bro. Like why are you here? This sucks. Euros annually gambling. Yeah, bigger. The carpet is so if you lose any chips, you can't find them. Is that true, really? Note that the average salary presented here is the official average presented by the government. The real average is actually lower, which makes the loss even more impactful. What's even more concerning is the age of these gamblers. The average age of a serious gambler is between 23 and 24 years. I mean, there's just something that goes to show as well, right? Like how broken all of it is. The system of gambling is like, if you won mad money, they can just be like, no, we don't want you here. Because they're a private business, they're allowed to do that. So if you, they want you if you're losing and spending loads of money. But then if you're like winning money, they can just straight up be like, nah, we don't want you. You're actually kind of taking money away from us. We don't like that. We don't like that. That sucks. And that's why you have to sign in to a casino every time you go in. You can't just walk in because they keep a tab and a record of you because they need to know how much you've spent. Because they don't want to deal with someone that's like winning money constantly. Like like they, they want losers in there. I remember when I was doing like uh, Blackjack with Chad. Because Blackjack's the only game that I can play and I'm, I'm still terrible at it. Like whenever you start winning, it's almost like they, they deploy these women to come over and start offering you drinks. You know, to get you boozed up so you make like stupid decisions. The, the people that win at the casinos are always the old people. They just have like a cup of tea next to them or something. Like they just never drink. Cheers. However, a lot of them start from an even younger age. Many Balkaners started gambling at the age of 13 and 14. Growing up in Serbia, it was not uncommon to see my peers go to a betting house during recess and use their lunch money. The drinks are there to keep you longer, not make mistakes. You, you genuinely think like if you're under the influence of alcohol, like you're not going to make more risky decisions. Your inhibition literally goes down when you drink. That, that makes total sense that you're going to make stupid decisions and you're going to keep going. Like, yeah, staying there longer makes sense. You know, obviously when you're tired and you drink, it's like, oh, I feel a little bit better and, and go, you know, before the crash comes in. But you're going to make more risky decisions when you're drunk, definitely. You're going to put more money on like red or black or something. Which was usually in the amount it's both, yeah. Amount of two I like the guy, the guy who basically admitted he does like a fifth of vodka and he's like, yeah, don't even touch me, bro. 200 to 300 dinars to go and buy a sports betting ticket. And although by law, these businesses cannot serve minors, more often than not, they still do. And if they're refused service- It's like when you go into a porn site, it's like, are you 18? Maybe? Okay, welcome. They would just stand outside of one and ask a passerby to go inside and place the bet for them. A practice that's still prevalent today. Wait, kids wait outside, give you money and ask you to put a bet for them? Just take their money and be like, ah, you lost. I I'm sorry, because there's there's not going to be any windows inside here. Just lie. That that's genius. You just scam a bunch of kids. That's sick. I'd literally be, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, g give me fifty quid, guys. I'll, I'll win big for you. And they're just like, ah, oh, guys, that it was in the house's favor today. Even while I was living in Belgrade throughout the early 2020s, in my neighborhood, I'd often be... I'm so happy I didn't grow up in Eastern Europe, though, bro. Goddamn. Like, I know U UK sucks, but, like, that, that place is a million times worse. ...asked my kids to go and place a bet for them while coming back from university. Of course, I never did. What is that avatar? What is that avatar? I mean, I'm not allowed to judge. I'm definitely not allowed to judge. But still... But there are plenty of people that do. In a research piece conducted by the Save the Children Foundation, it was found that approximately one in seven children in Romania gamble and that one out of 10 kids live in a family. All right, guys, stop simping over the guy's character, all right? Stop doing that.
where one of the parents gambles. So it's without a doubt safe to say grown man voice by the way that gambling is an enormous problem. As a whole there are several factors that contribute to such high rates in the Balkans. One of the first and arguably most major ones is poverty. High rates of gambling are prevalent in populations with lower earnings and higher rates now i'm a sub as gambling triggers adrenaline and dopamine in the prospects of potentially allowing someone to earn dude i never buy scratch cards the only time i do is when i go to stockholm like every couple of months i'll buy like 10 i'll scratch all of them and win absolutely nothing i think it's called tris or something and you can scratch them and there's a chance that you can actually have like a tv appearance where you spin a wheel uh, and then there's a chance where you get like ninety thousand pound a month for like the rest of your life Earn large sums of money from just investing a couple of euros this effect is i never do but i do i mean i never do it in the uk i don't, I don't do scratch cards multiplied with people in a worse economic situation scratch and sniff cards on <laughs> wait you can smoke indoors here can you oh dude that would stink in there jesus Dude, I would rather go to like an actual fairy convention or like a smash tournament and all the sweat and just the stink of cigarettes. The issue is exacerbated even more due to... Wait, is it in Romania? Smoking is prohibited on public transport and nearly all indoor play... Ah, uh, it's probably because... The law provides only two exceptions to this ban. The detention spaces and designated rooms in international airports. Well, this is Balkans, isn't it? Oh, they're not required to be smoke free. About a third of adult population in Serbia are smokers. 15,000 people dying every year, damn still lacks regulation in the industry and aggressive marketing that could be argued is directed towards children alongside with billboards plastered all over the city promoting a betting house if you turn on the tv it won't take long for you to see a commercial for a casino or online gambling house or website furthermore local celebrities such as musicians internet personalities i was going through the what of the among us game yesterday and technically you lost no, well, it was a Pyro 11 stink 10 victory if we count the unaltered score considering Pyro took off one point of stink and gave himself one it's Pyro 10 stink 11. Stink no, 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 no. I, 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 I was gonna Pyro, give... Pyro, please don't accept a gambling sponsorship. I would never look at you the same ever again. Gambling is an evil worse than heroin. It destroys families and lives forever. I mean, if it's actually gambling, I wouldn't take it. But I think it's a mobile sponsorship. It's like some Clash of Clans thing. And that's not exactly gambling. Uh, but yeah, true. Um, no, no, no. I, I won that because... I, I said I was going to take a point away from Stink and give it to myself. But all I did was give the point to myself. I didn't take one away from Stink. So I won. Leads are often paid by the gambling industry to promote their business. Like keep keep coping. I won that. Keep coping. Thus, That's definitely stink on an alt, by the way. Children seeing their idols promote such places can imagine they did like Overwatch gambling, Overwatch betting. Be extremely influential in them walking through the door of a casino. We've also seen this outside of the Balkans when. Ah uh, yeah. I wonder how much money Coke Rex made from all that gambling, man. That's crazy. Do not gamble, you will lose. Like just while watching someone gamble. <laughs> English-speaking YouTubers promoted a variety of online gambling sites, including one I won, even though it was rigged anyway. ...ones that dealt with video games such as Counter-Strike to their underage audiences, and the absolute scandals that came from that. But despite gam... God, do you remember when H3 broke that expose on, like, I think Syndicate and T. Martin, like, all those years ago? That was crazy. It's like seven years ago or something. ...gambling still being at an all-time high in the Balkans, the situation is not hopeless. In both Romania and Serbia, around 40% of the profits from gambling goes to legal Sorry charities. to interrupt the slop. I have business to take care of. I won't get a commission with you. This isn't a bit. I am being completely serious. Do not laugh. Let's talk business. I sent you the... What the fuck was that? Did someone try to reach out for a commission through donors? 
Why did you DM? What? In Serbia, the government also mandated a law that betting house employees... But yeah, 40% of it going to charity. I don't know if I believe that. Serbia, I don't know if I believe 40 that. percent of the profits from gambling goes to legal charities. In Serbia, the government also mandated a law that betting house employees must be educated in the signs of gambling addiction. Recently it, it just seems like such a cope, right? It's like you're dealing with the addiction of a problem, but if you got rid of the problem, you would never have the addiction in the first place. It just seems so backwards. It's like whenever I see these videos about like the worst drugs you can do in the world. Like, number one is, like, always alcohol. And that's, like, the legal one. I'm not one of these people that's coping and it's like, oh, weed's better for you. But, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Getting the signs of gambling addiction. Recently, Romania has also announced that it will tighten regulation in this industry. The country announced that there will be a ban on... You could say that about everything. Yeah, but gambling is, like, actually... You're actually rigged to lose. Everything is against you. The odds are against you. And then when you win too much, the house can literally just be like, we don't want your business here. On all gambling venues in settlements with a population under 15,000. This year as well, a bill was submitted in Bulgaria that would ban gambling advertisements online on... Based. TV, radio, print media... I think it's worse online. I genuinely think it's worse online. Like, on TV, you're basically advertising to the boomers. Yeah, and on buildings. That would be a similar title. Technically, and you did take a point, then again you're getting to the colossal is crazy age. No matter the real thing is that there is a new review site for YouTube channels. Favory and Biro TV is in it, as is one star. I won. Stink did not win. To Romania's law, it will seek to ban slot machines in towns with a population less than 5,000. So yeah, although gambling can be fun and harmless in certain situations, in the Balkans it... I, I find it so hard to take it seriously, and then that is the avatar. That, yeah, everyone in chat saying wood. Everyone in chat saying wood. It can be fun and harmless in certain situations. In the Balkans, it more often than not is anything but. So hopefully with this video, I've raised your awareness a bit regarding the issue. And if you're someone that is struggling with this issue, don't be afraid to reach. He got to be kidding me. Shout and seek help. Anyways, my name is Janos, and you watched Living Ironically in Europe. Yeah, I could not imagine living in the Balkans. He's doing a great service for us documenting all of it.